We are in a Cold War with China. This is not a ban on TikTok. Today, we take a stand against the Chinese Communist Party and their efforts to turn content creators in America into foot soldiers. The moment TikTok was banned in America. Well, not quite, but a step closer for sure. TikTok, after the debate, this is a 15-minute vote. The vote, and it was decisive. By a margin of 352 to 65, they voted to compel TikTok to cut all ties from its parent company, ByteDance, or be pulled from the US app stores in six months. It's certainly creating some unusual alliances from the most liberal politicians to those very much on the right, grouped together but in separate camps, those calling for what could effectively amount to a ban and those defending the company. It is a real mashup. I'm a little upset. It's caused and a storm on TikTok, of course. The app that I rely on to keep my business alive. Because for many, it's much more than a time waster. Because I'm going to keep making a lot of noise about how I want to keep TikTok, not as a content creator, but also as a business owner and as a young American. In Beijing, with a hint of hypocrisy, given that American social media companies are banned there, the foreign ministry spokesman was predictably unimpressed. TikTok, saying there is no evidence of national security risks, that it smacks of hegemony and that it'll backfire. China is a bipartisan bogeyman for America, hence the unusual alliances. But hints of misunderstanding too. ByteDance is a private company and has no Chinese Communist Party stake or board member. U.S. lawmakers broadly have two types of concerns. One is around data privacy and the personal data that TikTok possesses and collects on its users and possible misuses of that data and right. concerns that China in a um, in a uh, non-transparent way could manipulate the algorithm to promote its political agenda. I think this concern is more well-founded than the data privacy concern, but uh, I think the issue is these concerns are far broader than TikTok. The discourse has hints of xenophobia as well. Here's the boss of TikTok on Capitol Hill earlier this year. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? No, Senator. Again, okay. I'm Singaporean. And contradiction. The Biden 2024 campaign is on TikTok, but he says he would sign the bill into law. No surprise then that Donald Trump is against it. There is little chance of ByteDance and TikTok separating, but a high chance of political delay and legal challenges. Americans will be scrolling for some time yet.